Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. I have been showing some mid-range GMRS radios that are very budget-friendly recently on the channel. Today, I wanna see if we can get them programmed easily using some computer-based software. Let's check it out. We're gonna start by opening a new browser page and navigating to Radiodity. And look at that, flash sale, uh, 10th anniversary sale. Scroll on down the page here, and uh, there's a link for GM-30. Also, if you go up here to Consumer Radios and click on their FRS GMRS radios, you can get to the same thing. Multiple ways to get to this page. You want to go to their sales page for the GM-30. And as you scroll down just a bit, you're going to see, click here to download CPS and user manual. Click on that. It takes you to their page where all of their additional downloads are located. Scroll down till you get to the GM30. Choose it and then choose the GM30 programming software. This will be a download. And look at how quickly that downloaded. Click on the download. You probably get a warning message. Yeah, look at that. So only do what you're comfortable with here. I have investigated this and I am comfortable with this. So of course I'm going to click on more info and I'm going to run anyway. This is your choice. Do what you feel comfortable with, not what I feel comfortable with. All right, there was my little window that was hiding behind uh, all of the other windows. Uh, compatibility settings have been applied. Run program. I'm having to drop these onto my second monitor because my second monitor is what my recording software is capturing. So hopefully it is seeing this. I want this uh, downloaded into a different directory. So I'm going to choose a different directory. Yep, give me an icon. Yes, please, install. <laughs> okay, hopefully you caught that. I had to keep dragging every pop-up window onto my screen, which was being recorded. I've connected my programming cable to the GM30. I use a universal cable that goes across many HTs. I'll leave a link in the description below. Double click on our CPS shortcut. And here we are with our programming software. Some of the fields are hidden because I have my radio overlaid. Those fields aren't important for what we're showing today on the demonstration. Channel one through channel seven are high power. Channel eight through channel 14 are low power. And this is where we cross over into FRS. Eight through 14, you're talking to FRS radios and you don't have the option to change it from high to low. It will always be low. And then channels 15 through 22 are high power. Channels 23 through 30 are the standard GMRS repeater frequencies, and they are at high power. Once we get into rows 31 and forward, you can go ahead and customize this. You can use a GMRS frequency to a repeater that uses tones, and you would put those tones in. Or you can put in ham radio frequencies that you want this radio, this GMRS radio, to scan. That's what I'm going to show you here, how to enter a frequency. We're going to use simplex, and you just click inside of the cell you key in what frequency you want to enter and we're just going to tab out of there and it automatically fills in the balance of this with high power etc you're going to see in just a second that it will not let us transmit on these frequencies it will only let us listen let's go ahead and get a 70 centimeter frequency in there as well for simplex and you can add simplex or you can add your favorite ham radio repeaters here just as well you'll be able to listen scan but not transmit Let's take a look now at how we uh, program this to the radio. It's simply write to radio. Okay, and here we go. I'm actually getting a program message here. It's showing data is transferring. It's just not coming through on the camera that I'm using. The write was successful. 
and now it's coming back and letting me know that I'm on channel one. It automatically defaulted to channel one, which is where I was before I went into the programming mode. But let me show you, well, let's disconnect here. Let's just turn this off. Let's take the cable out. Let's turn it back on again. All right, the overhead light is off. Let's see if this helps at all. We're going to go to channel 31. And I am on DIY1. We have our FT3DR ham radio on screen. Let's try to transmit on that custom frequency that we programmed into the GM30 and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Let's wait for the light to go off. Now let's see what happens when we transmit on our FT3DR. <laughs> you can see that we lit up the GM30. I'm going to walk to the other side of the house. I'm going to leave the GM30 here on the screen and I'm going to transmit on Simplex. You're going to hear the GM30. Let's go ahead and get the volume up a little bit to make sure that you can hear it. And I'm pulling my desktop mic down. This is Katie 4 BMG testing the custom programming on the G30 programming in a ham radio channel for listen only on the GM30 GMRS radio. No response required. That's how easy it was to program custom frequencies into the Radiodity GM30. Now, for the fun of it, let's see if we can take that Radiodity CPS software and see if we can get it to work on the TID radio TDH5. These appear to be exactly the same radio that are private labeled, and I believe that TYT also has the same model out there under their own branding. So TYT is possibly the manufacturer, and then they private label it for other companies. We already have our CPS software open, and what we're going to do is come in here and actually call this, uh, let's call it TID test. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six characters. It's all it's going to allow us. We're going to go down to the next one. We're going to call it TID2. All right, let me bring the TID radio up on the screen. All I have to do is turn one of my cameras on, and lo and behold, there it is. Our programming cable is now in the TID radio. Let's go ahead and tell this that we want to program right to radio. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Again, you can't see it on the screen. These radios have excellent screens. My iPhone, my best cameras will not pick up these screens. There are just some radios that are like that. It is stating that it is programming the radio and it is showing that it is transferring the data. And now the radio came back on to channel one. Let's do this. Let's get the radiodity unit out of the way. And let's bring this to, let's see, we programmed channel 31 with a custom name of TID-TE uh, for test. Let's go after channel 31. There is channel 31. Wait for the light to die down. And look at that, TID test. This is Katie 4 BMG testing the TID radio TD H5 programming ham radio frequencies into the radio for scan only, not transmit. This is testing the TDH5 GMRS radio. Test, test, no response required. It worked. We're able to program both the Radiodity GM30 and the TID radio TDH5 using the CPS software that we downloaded from the Radiodity website. And I suppose if you followed the instructions from TID radio and used their CPS software, you would end up with similar results. So now we know we can custom program these radios with the frequencies that we want to listen to in the ham band channels, or we can custom program in repeaters that use tones to give us some level of quote privacy. And that's how we download CPS software for our GM30 and surprise, we can use it with our TDH5 as well. Talk to you soon, friend 73.